Hi there and welcome back to my channel, Beer Journey. Thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to be trying Green's Triple Blonde Ale. Now this is a gluten-free beer because I've got a few friends who are gluten intolerant or have celiacs and really can't have, well, a normal full gluten beer, which is unfortunate, but I figured I'd review a couple beers for them and see how they taste. Now, on this one, it does tell you on the bottle what it has in it, so you know that it's got water, millet, buckwheat, rice, sorghum, hops, and yeast. So, you're in the clear. It also shows the calorie content, which is actually kind of nice. Now, it's just 145 calories per serving, and there's two servings per the bottle, so about 290 calories. And it is, like most Belgians, about 8.5%, so not bad for a, a triple. A little low, I mean, most of them around the 11 12%, that area. Now, I did pay $9.99 for this, so might be a little high, but since there's not a lot of options for gluten-free beers out there, it's not bad either. Now, I've gone ahead and poured it into a chalice glass, since it is a triple. As you can see, it's... It's a dark honey color, a little bit of head on it still. As far as the smell, not getting a whole lot in the stuff that you normally get from a Belgian, the banana, the clove, the, the bready yeast. It actually almost smells a little lemony. As far as the taste goes, a little caramel there. You get a little bit of the, the bready yeast coming through. There's um, there's something on the back there that I can't quite place. But actually, that's not too bad for a gluten-free beer. Or for a beer at all. Now, it's not going to stack up to your Latraps or your West Small Triples or your Gooden Crawls or, you know, a lot of other ones. But when you don't have the option to enjoy those... This is a good replacement. And I mean, it is from Belgium, so if anybody can make a gluten-free triple, these guys can. So, if you've got any recommendations of other gluten-free beers that you think I should try, shoot me a text in the comments. I appreciate it. Uh, I do have a couple other ones. The Greens has a double that I'm going to be trying later, and they also have a hop beer. So... Kind of looking forward to see how those stack up. But I would say if you're gluten intolerant, then this would be a great option for a beer to pick up to kind of enjoy with your friends when they're enjoying their full-on glutenness. Uh, so thanks for tuning in once again to my channel, A Beer Journey. If you've got any comments, anything you'd like to see me review, shoot me a comment. I appreciate it. As always... Enjoy the journey.